you don't realize when you start vlogging is how often you're gonna have to listen to your own voice. Morning guys! I think I bit my lip in my sleep last night because look at it. It looks so bad. It is beautiful looking outside today. Like blue sky, super pretty. I feel like the buildings nearby look super clear. I looked at my app, it still says it's like 27 out of 100. What's 72 going to look like? Because when I go home, the air quality is going to be insane. I need to finish a blog post. I need to edit and upload a video. I need to schedule my newsletter. I need to call my bank, submit some paperwork for health insurance, and I need to email my ballot and do load laundry. Yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff going on. It's like 10 a.m. I woke up super late. Really stupid reason. <laughs> I stayed up last night until like 1 a.m. because I knew that a video was going to be posted that I've been waiting to see. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Do you guys watch um, Kelsey and Corbin on Steps to Wander? Uh, they've been driving around the U.S. and Canada in a van, the Wander Wagon, um, and I've been following their adventure and they are friends with Daily Bumps and I love Daily Bumps and they've been at their house in California and they're having a baby and so they did a gender reveal and they were like gonna announce the gender on this video so i was like i was up at 12 30 at night and i was about to go to bed and i was like i'm gonna stay up for another half hour to watch this video it's so embarrassing eric doesn't even know that i did that i'm gonna skip breakfast and eat an early lunch because we've got leftovers from getting leo hush one last night we were hungry um after the pizza festival so we got like to-go food from leo hush one that's that's how dedicated we are to this this restaurant Tomorrow I am filming my hundredth video. So I really need to prepare for that because my idea is going to take at least an hour, probably two hours of like sitting down and writing and figuring out what the hell I'm gonna do. Cause I know what I'm gonna do, but I can't spill anything to you guys yet. You gotta wait and see. How did I not notice that my lip looked like this all day yesterday in the vlog? This is why I need the vlogging camera so I can see what the hell is on my face. I like, I never know what I look like until um, I'm actually editing. I'm like checking my hair now. Yeah. I just scared the shit out of myself. <laughs> I clicked render on my video and it automatically starts playing the video after it finishes rendering. So it was rendering. I was like in the bedroom texting Eric because my phone needs to be charged. So I was like, I was like plugged in the wall. I was like texting him. And then I heard, hello. And I was like, who the hell is that? And it was my own voice. One thing you don't realize when you start vlogging is how often you're going to have to listen to your own voice. Sometimes your own voice scares you. I'm having skin problems. Can you tell that like my skin is really texturized? Oh shit, I forgot to get water today. Ah, I have so many things I need to do. Come with me. I just freaking hustled you guys. I uploaded a vlog, I wrote a blog post, put a Pinterest post, scheduled a Facebook post, halfway done with my newsletter. Then I was like, I need to take a break. Realize it's 4.30 in the afternoon. I just worked for like four hours straight, like staring at a computer, like, like a mad woman, no break. I don't even think I've peed in that time. I need to get some things. So I think I'm gonna bike to care for. But I don't know what to do about my skin problems. I feel like I need some kind of like freaking oil or I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. I feel like the water has such a high metal content here that my skin is just screwed either way. So it's just like, ugh. <laughs> I guess when we moved here, I was using like a way better face wash and then I ran out and I'm using like a really crappy face wash. So maybe it's the face wash. And I've been using this moisturizer, which is very likely expired. <sighs> just trying not to buy anything new because I'm going to have to haul it all back to the US. I'm like, I don't want to buy anything new. Also, this is the problem. I can't read anything. It all has, it's all in Chinese. I'm going to stop complaining and uh, figure out what to do about life. Is it wrong to wear Birkenstocks and socks out in public? Because I might be doing that. We'll see. I might not have the lady balls for it though. What do we care for? And wearing my Birkenstocks. Or socks. Like a ball. I did it. I left the house. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so bad at it sometimes. It's awful. Real question. Okay. If you were working at a store, and someone told you, sorry, I don't understand, and they clearly don't speak your language, would you keep trying to sell them things? Because that happens to me every time I'm in care for it, and it drives me crazy. So I end up just being like, oh, thank you, and then I'll like, sometimes I'll take the item and then put it down somewhere else in the store, and sometimes I'll just like stop talking and walk away, and I always feel really bad. But it happened this time with this like facial moisturizer. I was trying to send Eric so he could read it, because my skin's really sensitive, so I don't want to just like put anything on my face. 
This girl's like insisting that it's really good. I don't know, it's just very stressful to me. <laughs> but I'm gonna head home now. Also, Eric's bike is fixed, yay. We got a new bike seat. Ooh. All right, we got paper towels, tangerines, meat, peanut butter, for hangry balls, of course, laundry detergent, rubber gloves, I need to replace mine because they smell really weird, apples, new sponge, bobby pins. That's my haul. That was a horrific line I care for. I do need more coffee, but I think it can wait till tomorrow. We always need more coffee. Also got watermelon, woo! It's probably the end of the watermelon season, so about time. Gotta fold some laundry, hang some laundry, finish writing my newsletter, make dinner, make some hangry balls, cut up the watermelon. I talked to a couple friends today and started making plans, which I'm getting excited about. I know Seattle and Portland are definitely gonna be on the list for the next couple months. And then I'm also looking at the map near where I grew up, just seeing like, what's on this map that I haven't ever seen before? Like that I haven't made an effort to go and see. And obviously it's like the majority of it because the place you grow up in isn't the place that you like strive to explore someday when you get older. So I really wanna go check out the Olympic National Park, which is a rainforest. Oh, I also just watched a documentary about Edward Snowden. Um, I never really looked into the entire story. Like obviously it, the news during the time was unavoidable. So I kind of knew generally what had happened. Like I knew leaked information. I knew the practices of the NSA that were exposed but I really didn't know like the whole story about like how he sought asylum and escaped. I watched a YouTube documentary actually I'll link it below if you're interested. It was like an hour long super super interesting stuff. I have something I really need to share with you guys that's like super lame. I've been really obsessed lately with an awful awful game on my kindle. Cooking fever! <laughs> I've actually played this before, sadly. And eventually, this is the kind of game where eventually you do get into a moment where like, you need to pay real money and then that's when people like, delete the app. That's when I delete the app. Super lame, but this is how I've been calming down and relaxing lately. So yeah, what kind of lame weird things do you do to calm down and relax? Comment below. That's it for today, so be sure you come back tomorrow for my 100th video. That's so crazy. And we're gonna hit 600 people in this fun little community we have here, you guys. Soon we're gonna be 600. My goal is to create a community of people who want to explore. It doesn't, you don't have to get on a flight to explore, but just explorers. Like a group of people who are explorers and maybe anxious and weird. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.